my peeps. All right, this is I'm fucked up part two. Now I've got my lovely other half behind me. Yes, she just finished paddle boarding. And <clears throat> we are sitting in the back of the house, having a good time. And I wanted basically, not just listen to what I have to say, I just got done telling you in another video about how our first date 15 years ago, <laughs> she basically, I get her in the car and I tell her, hey, I'm a stinky bastard. I make lots of sounds. I fart a lot. I stink a lot. This is the ABCs of me. Oh, he wasn't lying. Now, see, here's the thing. Most people would view that as, oh my God. Now I'm gonna let mother half Terry tell you how it was perceived. Because most people don't really see it like this. Don't believe me. Listen to the person that actually heard this in the first five minutes of our first fucking date. So I say to you, hey, <laughs> this is the ABCs of me. I'm smelly, I stink, yes. I might love fucking yes. sounds. Yes. This is what you got. As long as we can get over this, we're gonna be good to go. <laughs> so tell the people, even though most people think, oh my God, it was a different uh, perspective. Just stop. He wasn't lying. He's a dirty, dirty sucker. But I love him. He has so, so much more on the good side than the bad. You take it all. He's awesome. And, but also thinking back to that moment in time when I told her that shit, she didn't perceive it as, what a dick. No. She took it in a different cute. way. She took it the fact that I was so open and so honest that it was actually a really nice platform to start from versus if we had had three, four weeks of this over the top, me being prim and proper and trying to fucking not throw my farts in her fucking face. Then what? She does then, on a regular then what would have fucking happened <laughs> two fucking months later? This motherfucker was so nice, he was polite. Now he's fucking throwing farts on me. He's fucking <laughs> holding me down and farting in my hair. <laughs> that's not a good one. Well, but that's <laughs> but that that's that's just kind of almost a little fun, like a little foreplay. But we won't go there right now. That's not foreplay. So <laughs> so anyway, point of being, let's let's let literally the person who heard that explain how it was perceived as more sincere and endearing rather than you know trying to present something I was not and that's really what I'm getting at own your shit lay your shit out there because if somebody really is gonna love you they're gonna love you for all of it yes being genuine and real is the, is the only platform you can stand on it's the only way to make forward progress and to my benefit it worked in my fucking favor because this lady has been literally the fucking blessing for me. But the bottom line is, if I'd started off trying to create some platform that wasn't fucking true, that was based upon me not being me, things would have had a different start. And when you think about that, when you really, really care about somebody, you're fucking honest. Hurt them with the truth, not a lie because you can deal with the truth, no matter what the fuck the truth is. A lie or some sort of misrepresentation does not create the platform to move forward. So here again, this is like I said, it's part two. I wasn't bullshitting you. Here is the, yeah. here is the one. You threw me on the spot. Thanks. Here's the one who literally took that, you know, right out of the gate. And look what it did. It was probably one of the fucking best phrases I ever spit out because it created that platform of openness and honesty that somebody needs <laughs> Brutal if they're gonna, if they're gonna <laughs> love me. <laughs> so again, remember guys, it doesn't fucking make a difference. We're all fucked up, own it. Yeah. The people that are gonna fucking love you are gonna love you no matter what. And on top of that, it just creates a better platform for you to be happy. When you're happy and you accept yourself, everything around you is gonna get that much better. I'm not trying to be fucking Dr. Phil here. I'm just trying to get you to understand that we're all fucked up and it's okay. Once you accept it, you're gonna be, you accept that you're fucked up and you accept who you are. Everything else in life for you is gonna get better all around you. And that's what it's all about. John Anderson bringing you a little more. Day water.